goddamn ruckus. Annie and Howie, they followed me. They, they pinned me down and they took my pocket knife. What the hell is wrong with you? You let them take your property, they're going to walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to the parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you're going to let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. <laughs> Son, I have tried reasoning with you. I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. They're coming to kill Mama. All right, here's what we're gonna do. You take this. Wow. Now you and I are going down into the basement and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia, you in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. Well, I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun? I'll be in the grave rotting away, and still a better daddy than you.
place has gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nearly a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Pointy Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. I'm in this house with bad memories. So why'd you come? You need a place to hide? You need money? Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a buck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I matter. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is, you were broke beyond fixing. What, are you some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall, coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts. Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age. Broke your mother's heart. Where is she? gone. When? What happened? What happened is we had a big goddamn war, and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She gone. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing. <laughs>
on her. Do you, Anya? His mouth. Not my problem, it's Cezanne. Oh, Christ. Will you just give us some privacy, please? Cool. Oh, you look like ass, man. Fuck. Looks like you're at death's door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Anyway, listen, uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're gonna execute you, and that whole charade's gonna be televised to every living room on the planet. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're gonna break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world, so it's kind of the only play we got, all right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get to you, and I'm your fucking lawyer! That pissed me off. But hey, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him and I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator. <laughs> Pop and Nazis, wherever they show up, straight down the garage, where boom, body and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay, you ready? Let's get this freak show on the road. <laughs> Fuck! That hurts so bad. You don't even know. Let's get this fucking gag thing off you. All right. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases and flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. If we make it that far. We make it. The 
hard part is getting down to the garage. Hey! Help! Help! Open the door! He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose, and then he got out through that door right there! Fucking Terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came and ran through that door, and they broke him out. It was space aliens, man! <laughs> zum Film gehen, bei Helene vorsprechen. Guter Schuss, General. Der zuckt noch. <lacht> Idiot. He was dead as soon as he walked into the building. Tapfra, kleiner Liebling, ich bin dein und du bist mein. Liebling, so lieb. Open your mouth. Open. Open it. That's it. How does it taste? Shh. How does it taste? The gunpowder of the bullet that killed your friend. How does it feel? Do you know the taste? Oh! <laughs> you hear that? It's my attack force. Mm. Moving in on your friends in the garage. You're so good, boy. They're gonna go down there now and join in on the fun! Fun, you. theft and destruction of public and private property, aiding the enemy, torture, terrorism, including nuclear, both domestic and abroad, and high treason. For gruesome murders that number in the thousands, you have been found guilty, Mr. William Joseph Blaskowitz. It is rare, even for a man of my job description, to come face to face with true evil, and it pains me that the maximum sentence that I can bestow upon you is something as trivial as death! Death, Mr. Blaskowitz! Nothing but swift, sheer death! <laughs> Bailiff!
mom. Oh, my son. I thought I lost you, mom. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, Billy. Life is full of unexpected things. Some make it cheerful. And some break your heart. I wasn't there when you needed me. I ran out on you. It hurt so much, Billy. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest when you left. But all hardship is temporary. Do you know this? Most of it is inevitable. I had to stay behind so that you could leave. And now you are the one in trouble. Do not worry for me. My troubles are all for my son. I don't want to go back out there. But I can't do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mom. They're not born yet. I want to see them. I wanted you to see them. I miss you. We will be together soon. You just have one more hardship to do. Bailin! Warm quilt of daydreams. Stolen by cold winds of reality. Position. She's dropping it! Here at the Kinderlech, we have less than seven seconds. Okay, ready, steady, march for Mate! Grab it! Oh. I'm not, not! Hurry! We have three seconds! We need to give his brain oxygenated blood! Or it will die. 
to survive getting his head chopped off? It's the Vlaskovich. Can you hear me? Uh-huh. Okay, so listen to this. <clears throat> Some time ago, Caroline obtained this latest generation biologically engineered super soldier body from a Nazi scientific lab. Very, very impressive specimen. Anila, please show this to him. Look, William. Sed is going to attach this to build the connection between your head and your new body. Ah, yeah. Kindle up. I'm a Nazi Please come and help me here. Now, these are very rare Nazi combat equipment from super soldiers. Our fight is found in the field. None of them is working, but I have enough material to fix one contraption. You should decide which one you want. You can choose. Blink once for this one. Blink twice for the one in the middle. Blink three times for that over there. Okay, Ingela, let's get to work. I will sedate you now. See you soon. Send them to me when you're done. Uh, no, have you seen Katzelin? Where's the gazing? Where's the gazing? Shim shim. I give the shim shim. Please feel the best of Glasgow. How I look? Like a new man, Yankel. A new man. Oh, look at you. I'm so happy you're back. Now, this, same thing Shoshana has. There's no, 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 no. 
This connects your head to your body. Very, very important not to fiddle with this. Now, you might feel some weird tingling sensation, not to worry, it's normal. But let me know if anything else happens. For example, your head trying to reject your new body, something like this. It's hot! Let's make hot! I have prepared the contraption you wanted. Put it on.